All right, next question comes from Ricky. I graduated college almost four years ago and still have about $25,000 in student loan debt. Knowing it would not be wise to touch my home equity or 401k account yet, I just turned 26, I finally reached the point where I could empty my brokerage account and emergency savings and completely pay off my student loans. I just feel like emotionally it would feel defeating as those would basically be empty after working hard to build those over the last three years. Would it be wise to pay off the student loans now, or would it be better to make aggressive payments for the next several years? Also, side note, about a year ago I moved to Nampa, Idaho, and heard Allison mention on the show that she grew up in Caldwell, small world. Yes, it's a small <laughs> Idaho, that's for sure. So enjoy Nampa. All right. So, Ricky, I, first of all, I love that you're a listener. I love that you're thinking about this stuff at 26. You are well ahead of the game. Right? Of Way many ahead of, your of my game. Congratulations. Whoa. All right. Uh, so, the one detail that I don't have here that I would like to have to answer your question is what are you paying in interest on the student loan debt? So, I know kind of what you have resources wise that's available. The first thing that I would say is that don't drain your emergency fund. That emergency fund is just that. This is not an emergency. This is kind of a, a a strategic decision, but not an emergency. And the reason that that's there, if you have a loss of income, if you have a big unexpected bill, you still want to have that liquidity. Now, whether or not you pay off some of that student loan debt using the brokerage account, I think depends on on what you're paying in interest. And, and I'll try and give you at least a, a guideline. If you were paying sub 5%, if your student loan debt is under 5%, I'd probably keep it. I, I think you're ultimately going to do better in a long-term investing strategy than 5%. If you were somewhere between, let's call it 5 and 7, you're kind of on the bubble. If you're paying north of 7% interest on that student loan debt, I probably would take the money out of the brokerage account and pay it off. Um, uh, and again, the, the, you, you may have a different tolerance for risk than I do, but but for me, I wouldn't bet hard that I'm going to earn way more than seven percent, uh, even though I hope that I would on long term investments. Um, but that for me would be my threshold where I would pay off the debt, at least get rid of half of it, and then make as aggressive payments as you can over the next few years to get it totally out and off your mind, so that you're not worried about it anymore. Um, but how much that debt is costing you is is the big variable. There. Yeah, and that's why we talk about always like not all debt is bad debt. Like it drives me nuts when people say that because I mean there is good debt out there. I mean if you have a mortgage, that's good debt. It enables you to live in a house, and you're probably paying less on that mortgage than you would earn over a long term investment strategy. Totally. And uh, yeah, I just I don't the blanket statement all debt is bad. I just I hear that often, and I don't I don't like it. I, you got to be careful with that. I, I like to spar with bro on this. So yeah. sadly, Jason, you're not bro, but uh, <laughs> bro always <laughs> talks about paying off. Your your mortgage going into retirement and for a lot of reasons it is a satisfying thing to do. Um, to me, at, at the interest rates we've been at, I can't make the math work for, yeah. for that case. I just can't. If I've got you know sub four percent debt, I'm going to keep it as long as I can. That's cheap money. Um, well, I'd, I, I'd rather have the money elsewhere. I'll give you another real life example. I mean, I'm sitting here looking. So I have a car loan, right? I got a new car in 2015, and Ford gave me a zero percent. Mm -hmm. Interest uh, loan to to pay off over five years, I think it was. So I'm sitting here for five years with a zero percent loan. Now, I could pay that off tomorrow, and it would be very satisfying to know that, that obligation is fulfilled. However, month by month, I'm finding, and I've seen this over the course of the last three years, that money is I'm finding that money to be better served over over you know all sorts of different types of investment opportunities that come up. Uh, so so yeah, while while it could be satisfying to pay that off, it doesn't cost me really anything. If I eliminate it, yeah, I get the satisfaction, and I don't have to worry about that in the future. It's another uncertainty that's erased, but I kind of like my chances over the next couple of years to be able to satisfy that debt regardless. So, string it out as long as you can, right? And then once the five years are over, are you going to pay it off? Well, yeah, I mean, it'll all be done, clock, right? Yeah. The whole thing will be done. It's just every month I get to pay yeah. towards the car, but the you know the auto company is not charging me at all for the loan. So yeah. if I, mean, I can use somebody else's money for free, I'll yeah, always. That's the do definition it. of free money. I mean, you might as well string it out for as long as you can.